This is the second video about PLCs and in this uh, video you can see how to work with a PLC that you pick from the database and how to import an I.O. list. PLC components can be a little tricky so um, often you will go to the database to, um, to, to find your PLC. I have uh, put a couple of PLCs in my pick menu and uh, in your installation as well and uh, I'll just uh, try to show you how you work with a PLC that comes from the database and I simply pick the first one of these and uh, when you pick a, uh, a, data, uh, no, a, a PLC from the database you'll see that it comes with different tabs here and I have one tab with my reference symbols for outputs and inputs and then I have uh, one tab for each of the uh, inputs and it's very long this one all my inputs um, symbols and one with all my output symbols. So um, I'll just close this one and take it once again because it's smaller. So when, when I, I, I pick a uh, component like this from my database I get all the symbols that I need for this PLC and that's by far the easiest and the safest too. And then I work with it this way, that I start by placing my reference symbols, as you remember, they're the ones that control my addresses. And in this example here, what I want to do is simply name it, because um, I know somebody made an I.O. list for me later that I'll pick in, that I'll, I'll um, import, and then uh, I get my addresses and my descriptions for, for this PLC here. And then I simply just name it, click OK and then I use my show available window here and that means that I'll uh, click the uh, the other reference uh, symbol here and it's called K12 and then I have all my inputs and outputs there here simply waiting to be picked but as I told you I want to, um, to import an I.O. list too to this project here I have my um, my menu here, my PLC menu, and in this one I have the menu item read PLC I/O list. And if I click this one, you can see that I have some format files here. It says select PLC format file from the list, and I have a format file here called Excel I/O. So I don't want to um, to to find another one. Shortly about the format list, it's simply a, a, a format telling you how your um, I/O list is uh, configured, meaning that what kind of data do you find in each column. So uh, you have it here, and, and that's it. So um, then I click next, and then I have to find my I/O list that somebody uh, made, and I'll browse for it. And I know that I have this I/O list here, PCS Excel I/O. And this list here, uh, when I click next, you can see that it contains, and then back to the format list, it contains one column with PLC name, one column with my connection name, and one column with my function, one with my label, and one with description for this address here. And my format list tells me exactly that these are, these are the columns that I have in my list, and that's... Um, uh, enough about that. And then I'll click next and uh, you can see if I had new value, old value and um, I didn't have anything, it was uh, empty. So execute and then it's here now. So all my descriptions, all my addresses have been imported uh, by means of the I.O. list. And then I can go in here to the next page and uh, I'll click on my name here and that means my list here with symbols will be updated and now I can pick each uh, symbol here by just clicking it and placing it wherever I want it and uh, it comes with address, it comes with my description it comes and it looks exactly the way that it should do and that's it push button 1, push button 3, and 2 and 3 and I can place all the symbols here in my project and, oh I forgot to see that, that I have my references here and if I double click this one you can see that now my reference symbol here have, has the references for the each individual address. So they're here now, the, the connections and um, 
addresses and everything. I just want to show you a trick with this one because I know that when when you make the drawings, some of you would um, place the individual addresses to the functions where they belong, and others would would make pages with PLC inputs and PLC outputs. It depends a little bit about the way you you make your drawings or make uh, the way you make your projects. But if you make um, pages just with inputs and just with outputs, you can right click in this window here, and then you get this select all function. If you click this one. You can see that you get I get eight uh, inputs here, and that is one per current path. And as long as I have between four and sixteen current paths on a page, this function will automatically distribute them one in each current path. So um, just to 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 show you that. Another thing I want to show you is that uh, when you have very large PLCs, you might want to use a filter because um, you have a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs and, and, and if you want to if, or if you're going to uh, scroll this way to uh, to find the relevant address each time you wanted to place one be pretty tiresome so instead you can go in and define a filter and uh, this filter is out of the window unfortunately but uh, you can go in and have a from address and a to address and if you want to have a, a to and I can just go to this one you can see I only selected the, the three first addresses here and that's one of the filter things that I can do and uh, if I apply the filter I the, the uh, filter button here is green and if I disable the filter I'll just click it and then the filter is disabled again so that's another thing of um, of of uh, the, the another function that I have with my YPLCs, and then again I can place them here, inputs, outputs, and uh, simply place them in the current path, and then I can have exactly the same uh, kind of list as I just did before, with uh, where, where you saw just the the, the bare functions, and um, yeah, um, like uh, the lamp here, plus uh, one. And um, two and three. I'll just uh, see if it's here. I use the rules of two. Go in this one, right click, update the list, and then you can see here that I placed the outputs here, and you can see them here. So, nothing magic about it. It's simply the way that the components work. As long as you um, you 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 you. Uh, pick your uh, PLC in the database.